This time on Second Chance Ohana. Hey guys, we have a super fun project today. We are going to be doing our first ever mother versus daughter challenge because we found these two identical linen cabinets that we feel like can be sold independently really easily. So we're each going to take one, fix it up completely on our own, putting our little flair and style into it. So we're going to sell them and see who's gained the largest profit. So the name of the game is to keep costs low, but to make it really desirable and really fun. All right, so join us as we see if we can give these babies a second chance. Aloha, I'm Danny. In 2016, I moved from Maui to Arizona with my husband so we could be closer to my mom and pops who lived just a few miles away. On our journey, Kyle and I expanded our family by adopting three tweens and Barbara, who helps make sure everyone feels like part of the Ohana. Mom and I love to hunt for used furniture and restore it because it's so much fun to be creative, use power tools, and of course, make money. And because like people, sometimes furniture just needs a second chance. After cleaning this cabinet, I had to do a little test sanding on the top to see if there was any real wood I could salvage. Unfortunately, I blew right through the tiny amount of veneer, so I guess we're painting it all, which just requires a little bit of scuff sanding. So with a 120 sandpaper, I went through and sanded the whole thing because it's all getting covered in green. I have plans for this back piece, and it's gonna make my life a lot easier if I have easy access to it. So let's take these screws out and pull this baby right off. When painting the inside of this cabinet, even if it's in part, no one's really gonna see unless they remove the drawers. It always looks like such low quality if there's paint on these slides. So I wanted to remove them and reattach them after all the paint's on, just to keep it nice, crisp, clean, and professional looking. With these cheap, simple pieces, I find it easiest to literally take them practically all apart. It makes my life a lot easier in the long run, and they're easy to reassemble when I'm all done. Plus, it just keeps everything looking nice and clean, and it's less obstacles to work around. I love this peel and stick wallpaper. It's so great for lining drawers and shelves. So to line drawers, my easiest hack is to take the drawer apart. So I removed the bottom from the drawer, lined it easily with this peel and stick wallpaper, trimmed it with an X-Acto knife, then you just stick it right back in and reassemble. Easy peasy. Remember how I said I had fun plans for the back piece of this cabinet? Well, here it is. And my big tip for doing projects like this is make sure your wallpaper is the right width. If my back piece was too large, I'd have to match these to make it fit perfectly. But this is so much easier because it was large enough for the width that I could just peel it on, pull it off, and then trim it out just a little bit. And then stick that whole back piece right back in the cabinet. In order to prep for painting, after the scuff sanding, next comes filling in all the dings. And these inexpensive little pieces usually have a lot of dings. So I just put a little bit of wood fill in there, let them dry, and then sand it all down. And now I'm ready to paint. Well, prime. As always, I started off this makeover by taking off the hardware and then thoroughly cleaning with a degreasing soap and water. 
and then afterwards I used I just rinsed it really good to get rid of all the soap residue I noticed the wood on the back frame had warped slightly and the back panel was loose it wasn't sitting in the groove any longer so I just glued it and clamped it into place and that seemed to do the trick Next, I did a quick scuff sand over all the surfaces, inside and outside, on the top, underneath, and in both the drawers. You know, sometimes you think these small pieces will be really fast and easy to sand and paint. In reality, they can take a lot of time. For scuff sanding, I use a 180 or 220 grit sandpaper and just scuff up the old finish. This helps the new paint adhere better. Even though the paint I'm using has a primer and a top coat built into it, I went ahead and primed all the surfaces using my Zinsser Bin Shellac Primer. The main reason I did this was because I'm painting a very light color over this black, and I would rather only do two coats with that expensive paint instead of three. After the primer's finished, I always just use a fine piece of sandpaper, about 220 grit or 320 grit, and just hand sand it really quick just to smooth out, smooth it out before I paint. It's officially prime time. Let the transformation begin. All right, this step I probably should have done in the very beginning when I was still doing repairs and prepping, but I didn't actually notice this dramatic wiggle until I got to the priming stage. But better late than never, so let's get this fixed. First, I just tried tightening all the screws that were already attached, but unfortunately that didn't fix everything. So now we gotta go a little deeper and take it all apart. When we take it all apart, I'm filling in all the holes with wood glue. I'm gonna clamp them so they dry, and then it'll be nice and sturdy once it's all dry and ready to go. As you can see, I couldn't quite reattach all these pieces by myself without them falling all over the place. So I had to call in Mr. Second Chance Ohana, just needing another set of hands. It's always fun having help out in the garage, and this time Sammy wanted to help me start painting. Not only does she love sanding, but she's quickly discovering that painting is pretty darn therapeutic and rewarding.
Now, back to these drawers. We gotta spice these things up a little, give them a little more intrigue. So I found this great small trim at Home Depot, cut it at 45 degrees with my miter saw just to create this beautiful trim on the edges of each drawer. I'm no expert, and when I cut these 45 degree angles, it's easy to get confused about which way your angles need to go. So I like to be assembling them while I'm cutting them so I make sure I'm not cutting the wrong direction. I promise, it's a lifesaver. Attaching this trim is really easy. All you need is wonderful wood glue and some clamps. Make sure that all your seams are nice and tight, but if there's little gaps, don't worry, that's what the wood filler is for. Okay, let the fun begin. I went totally girly on this piece. I know, not usually my style, but secretly, deep down in my soul, I love flowery, girly, romantic things. So here goes nothing. Danny will be shocked, and I hope it sells. So this paint is fusion. It looks kind of mint green in this light, but it's really a beautiful light blue called French eggshell. It's just gorgeous. And this is the first time I tried fusion paint and I just loved it. I had another first with this project. This is the first time I've done decoupage. Yep. Pulled out all the stops with this girly romance theme. This decoupage is by Redesign and it's called Coral. I ordered two of these sets and used them on both sides, the three shelves and the fronts of the drawers. They're really easy to use. I just applied them with Mod Podge underneath and over the top. And then after they were dry, I sanded the edges a bit just to soften them up and blended in a little plank to soften that look a little bit more. I'm just finishing up with the second coat of paint on the inside of this cabinet. And then my favorite part, taking off the green frog tape. There's something so satisfying about pulling this off and just seeing those nice clean edges. Don't you love it? I found some really cute vintage looking pools on Amazon 
And then I added a tiny bit of the Dixie Bills Gilding Wax in Gold on top of those. It just gives it a little bit more bling. So time to attach the hardware, the shelves, and the drawers. I can't wait till the big reveal. There were already holes for drawer pulls in here, which would have been great, except for that my leather pulls are much longer. And if I use the same holes, they'd be sticking out over the trim, which would just look a little silly. So I made sure to raise the holes a little bit so the drawer pulls will look perfect on there. I started with one dollar store package of skewers. Trim them down to the exact height of the space between the trim and filled it in. Although it was a ton of skewers and this ended up being a little more painstaking than I wanted it to be. The best method I found for trimming these skewers was to bunch up a big chunk together and wrap blue tape around them, A, so they all stayed together, and B, use the miter saw right over that blue tape so they don't splinter. Because even though I cut them all the exact same length, these drawers and this trim is not perfectly even. So there's a little variation in the height. So I had to really play with, oh, here's some longer ones, here's some shorter ones. I had to sand some of the skewers to make them fit. So it really was a tedious process, but I love how it looks like a fluted panel. You don't have this wood glue yet, you need some of this. I use it for practically everything. Make sure to get it all over the drawer where you want your skewers to go. And then I literally would just take one at a time, place it in, make sure it was nice and tight to the next ones because any gaps are gonna look quite weird, especially because I'm gonna be painting over this. So now that the skewers are in there good, I needed to drill one more hole for those drawer pulls just to have them go through the skewers. And I made sure to put some blue tape on top so it wouldn't splinter these skewers. If it splintered them, I'd kind of be out of luck. So now we are getting close to finishing this project. We're just doing final coats of green, the poly, making sure to sand between each coat. And then we're gonna be putting it all together. All right, this challenge is officially done. Remember what they looked like before? I 
Now let's head back to the garage for the final reveal. Today is the day! Yay! We finished our cabinets and we somehow have kept them a secret from each other. And today is the day we're going to reveal. So no more waiting now that we're all set up. But do you want to go first? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see it. Yay. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Yes. Ta-da! Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is. Look at the color. That's gorgeous. Oh, and the, it's all antique in and the handles. I know. What do you think? Totally not me, huh? This is my This is like ego. super feminine, yes. I know. But um, it actually can be for linens or lingerie or other lovely things. Oh, wow. You have like really marketed this. I love this color. Is that that fusion French eggshell? Yes. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. That was fun. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, that, uh, is, that is totally unexpected. How pretty. Really? I feel like this is like my signature thing. Oh my god. Yeah, I had no idea you were going to use the, the leather pulls. Oh really? Aren't they fun? Look how good they go with the wallpaper. I love that wallpaper. So oh, that pretty. is so cool. That is Fun. I know, I love it. And you did skewers I know. on the drawers. Oh my god. Oh, you even have them in the drawers. Oh, I love Perfectly. it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, that is really, really cool. Oh, thanks. That is fun. I had, I, that is a shock. I had no idea you were going that direction. So before we announce the winner, let's talk numbers. We each got our linen cabinets for $15 and then I put in $15 of material into mine and mom you put in 30 okay so her total cost was 45 and my total cost was 30 so if we sell them for the same price I win do you know who won do you have ideas and the winner is It's true. Mine actually has not sold, but people loved it. Right, Mom? Yeah. You got so many views and so many comments on Facebook, and I don't know what happened, but I guess it only takes one person. Yeah, so you sold yours for $150, giving you a total profit of 105 and you sold yours within 15 days, and it has been almost a month, and mine has not sold, so I guess I've lost. But, <laughs> but tonight, somebody has been messaging me. She was all ready to put a deposit down, but she just wants to measure her space. But if she puts that deposit down tonight before the video airs tomorrow, then I will win, because she also is going to buy it for 150 I know. So it's it's not gonna happen. Oh, come on. But it's been fun. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and comment below which one was your favorite. We promise not to take it personally if you don't like ours. Um yeah, and stick around to see what's happening next week. We hope you have a great day. Aloha. Well, we have updated news. <laughs> Look at her face. It's not gonna work for the lady, so it's still has not sold. Therefore, Mom, congratulations. You Yay! are officially the winner. <laughs> Better luck next time, Danny. Were you smiling or you were doing that face the whole time? I don't know.